Good morning, folks. This speaks entirely for itself. Change, shift, ascension, 2012, whatever you call it. Have your ducks in a row, folks. Here's the millionth Mars water article of the last six months. This article from NASA's Earth Observatory details that methane that we are very concerned about. Spitzer has spotted a super Earth. It's a good read and the link is below. Obama may veto the latest budget due to not enough funding for NASA and NOAA. Interesting. The San Onofre new plant cannot stay out of the news. Radioactive water pipes are beyond damaged there. If you caught our video last night, you know that we are in a magnetic storm watch this week. The unsettled geomagnetics continue this morning as you can see on the monitors here. The flux gate disturbance and the temporal resonance down at the bottom. Solar wind speed is rising and charged particles are hitting in pulses here on the Ovation Prime. This precedes the impact of two coronal mass ejections and a coronal hole stream set to hit this week. Very soon actually, I estimate better than a 50% chance of geomagnetic storms this week. Not done yet though, this big active region is labeled Beta Gamma Delta. The delta spots are in the middle and are indicated by red and blue within the same penumbral region. Could produce large flares, but it is stable right now. You can see the dark coronal holes turning to the right here, down on the bottom left, the southeastern limb. We do have a new active region that looks worthy of review, both beta class here. The broken record continues, folks. Jupiter is headed for a solar conjunction May 13th. As she approaches Mercury after that, the moon sweeps past them both and transits the sun in a solar eclipse. Moon conjoins Venus after that as Mercury passes Jupiter to conjoin the sun. That's the news, folks. Be safe.